Hello, sweethearts, and welcome to an interesting thing, which I'm going to try to introduce with a little bit of brevity. So first off, this is Super Mario All-Stars on NES, which just collects all four NES Mario games on one cart, you know. For convenience for, like, your multi-carts, or your uh, the flash drives, or your emulation stations, or whatever, you know, it's fine. We're here because of another YouTuber who goes by One Credit Classics. One Credit Classics plays hard games and does them in, like, one continue or one credit or one life, even, which is wild. And they're very good, and they're basically a lot like me with the hard game beating, except very, very British. So, check them out. Link in the description. Uh, they are the entire reason I'm doing this. And here's the reason I'm doing this in further detail. I reached out to them on Twitter to make a request. I asked, hey, do you take requests for games? Because I had a game in mind that I could do. And they replied with, as long as it's not Hagane or Super Mario The Lost Levels, then I'm fine. Which, Hagane, in case you didn't know, if you have a lot of bombs, save them and just spam them and that's it. I cheesed the hell out of that, but I don't care because it really is obnoxious, 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 to just fight. Yeah, so I already did that, but The Lost Levels, now that's a game I know and love, so, uh, yeah, we'll check it out here. That's it. You can tell it's hardcore because it's, uh, <laughs> got the scary music, so we'll just, uh, load that up. Super Mario Bros. 2, Japanese, aka Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, I guess. To differentiate it from the Super Mario Bros. 2 with vegetables that we all know and love, we don't need to hear the Doki Doki Panic story again, but... This came out in 1986 for the Famicom Disk System, and, uh, it's harder Super Mario Bros. It's almost like a proto-ROM hack, in a way, like a Massacore game. Just those little seeds would eventually sprout into those games like I Want to Be the Guy or Kaizo World or whatnot. It's not quite that bad, but as you can tell from the demo, they literally added in a mushroom that kills you when you touch it. So, <laughs> Is that that much different from an apple falling off and killing you? I don't know. So we are going to play this without dying. Which is a monumental task. I'm taking warps, but Super Mario Bros. 2, the last levels without dying. <laughs> it's a it's a task, to be sure, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it, don't you? Have a little faith in me. Alright, chums, let's get to it. Let's do this, shall we? One dash one. Three lives. Let's go. So you can get a mushroom right here. Also, this little trapped Koopa. You can use it for infinite one-up shenanigans, which I'm not doing here. But I will be collecting a bunch of hidden one-ups, just, just through the hell of it, so... There's one there. There's your pro tip if you ever play the Lost Levels. To get some hidden shit. There's all sorts of hidden shit here, but... Sometimes half of it is just those poison mushrooms that actually kill you, so... We don't really need to uncover those, now do we? Anyway, that's basically a clean run through 1-1 one, one, if you get that star, so... Hm. That's the easy stuff out of the way. <laughs> it gets harder pretty quick. And we'll see some of that in 1-2. Not much, but some. Down we go. So... We're gonna avoid that, and there we go, yeah. So being big in this game actually has a bit of a handicap, like, oh, we can't, we had to do that little slip through. Now let's see if I can do this this time. Break these, get that one up. Ah, fuck! See, this is L. Peter's curse again. I've been able to get that one up consistently in practice, but every time I try to record, I can't do it. It just eludes me. It's not that I need it, because if I die, I'm going to reset this thing anyway, but... Hmm. It'd just be nice to look really cool, you know? Anyway, well, there's some coins if you want to get them. And now we're going to do some warping shenanigans. We go up here. There's a gap there. They don't want you playing Mindless World. And you actually want to go down this pipe. 
and into a little subsection. Even though being large is a bit of a handicap, we are, we do want to fire Mario for as long as we can. So. Now this is tricky. You gotta be careful there. Or else you'll slip through. And how are we gonna get past this? Invisible coin blocks. Which the ROM hackers just love. Let's put them all at the apex of your jump so you hit them and die. Though, thankfully, <laughs> they don't really do that in this game. <laughs> anyway, World 4 is interesting. In the original Mario, uh, you could warp at World 4-2 and get to World 8. Here, the warp isn't till 5-2, so we actually have to beat the entirety of World 4 here, so... It's gonna be fun, and it's gonna ramp up really quick. We've got Lakitu already. We got spinies, we got big jumps. And another one man, because why not? You know, just Well the rest of the level is just a straight run through. You just uh just be cautious of the spinies and the piranha plants. Yeah, the red, which means they pop up even if you're like close to them. Whereas you gotta be like on them or something. It's weird, but you get a hang of it if you play. It's strange how they work, but they're more aggressive. It's the thing. Hmm, fireworks. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay. I can, I can live with that. 4 2 is another fun uh, straight run through. We got a lot of bullet bills, uh, fuzzy beetles showing up. And another lackey, too, which we, we can just deal with by getting on that spring, so that's, that's something. It's basically just a straight shot. Nothing really that menacing. Well, until the end point, but we're big, so we can deal with it. Really. So, yeah, hammer bros. <laughs> Nothing. And if you're hit, you can actually go down to that uh, leftmost pipe, and you can get something. Yeah, there's a power-up. And there was a mushroom, like, earlier, I forgot to point out, just before the hammer bros section, so... If you get hit, you, you've got fallback here. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And that is the easy levels out of the way. <laughs> Minus one, basically free level later on. Four three, kind of sucks. So, I should mention these springs are really finicky. I just hammer the button while I'm doing it, and sometimes it'll work. Now, here's where the fun begins. If you just jump, you're dead. What I want to do is, uh, yeah, we actually have to bounce off that Koopa in midair to make the jump. And I want to wait until he's coming up. So go. Whew, yeah, that, was, that was crazy. Okay. So that's a really hard trick of level done. <laughs> so now bullet bills are coming in randomly. We gotta do a nice little double jump. I like how the platforms are little mushrooms this time. Yeah, just wait until a bullet is coming downward. Ooh. And if you can get up here, you can just run straight through. This is the end of the level, but it's tricky. We gotta do a nice triple jump. Boing, boing, boing. Yep, there you go. There you go. That's that's four three. That's a relief. Of course, now we actually have to do a castle level, which... It's not hard, but it's not easy either. Uh, yeah. Just just being cautious. They have a lot of these tight jumps. Long fire bars! Which are kind of terrifying, actually. But if you know the pattern, you can just time it. Don't jump down there, or you'll get hit. This is fun. Well, we've got fire, so we can just deal with this. If we didn't, you could jump on the Koopas and then knock the rightmost one. And you do a nice uh, backwards jump. Come down here. A hammer bro that I'd have to get in between the hammers and him and run under if I was small. And this is actually a maze, so you have to stay down. Stay down to solve that little maze. And now fire. You wait for the two. And jump! Now we wait until the fire doesn't try to uh, screw up our jump onto the smoothing platform. That'll do! Okay! Hope to god we don't get fucked! Alright! Good! Oh, Good! And we hit Bowser with fireballs until he becomes his funny and uh... That's how you beat World 4! Yeah! Yeah! I'll find that castle in a hot minute! You, you, you just wait! You just wait, I'll find that castle. Alright, 5-1 introduces another of the Lost Level's new gimmicks, which we'll see in a moment, but we got these upside-down piranha plants to deal with. Well, 
We're gonna take it slow, just because there's plenty of time on the timer. And, uh, we've, got, we've got flower power, as we used to call it back in the day. The day being 1990, so, you know. Okay, we're coming to it now. So, wind! That's wind. Those leaves are supposed to be wind. Yeah. And another one man, if you, if you want to, if you want to play like that, and give yourself a little extra leeway to make these jumps. It, it assists your jumps, so you can make really long jumps. It's a an interesting gimmick, but one we're not really gonna see beyond this level. So yeah, I don't think there's actually another one. Though. Could be wrong, but oh wait, there's one more spot of wind. I I forgot. Now this is fun. Kick this Koopa shell, and you knock all these things. Just run straight forward. Well, it's gone now, right? Go! Nope. Two one mans for doing that shit. This jumps a little hard. Woo! Okay. Okay. Five one is basically done and dusted now. We just have to deal with some more uh, invisible coin block shenanigans to actually get up to where we need to go. Run along the scoreboard. And that's that. Great. So, that wasn't so bad, really. The wind can be a little tricky, but whatever. Eight lives? It's, it's pretty good. Nine if I'd actually managed to nail that godforsaken trick, but whatever. So 5-2, aside from actually getting the warp, it's free. It, it's, it's basically free. <laughs> like, this level is not quite so hard as the ones that will come after it, so... You can take a little bit of a breather here. I mean, some of the jumps are a little tricky if you're big, but you, know, you can just break the blocks and give yourself a little more leeway. I don't know why the red piranha plants aren't coming out there, but whatever. Just slip through here. And we're actually at the warp point now. Where's the warp? Around right the other side. Just gonna get some money. It's right at the tippy little edge of these this block pattern. So you actually have to ride the platform and hit it. It's much easier to do when you're small, because you have a little more leeway. But there it is. There it is. Okay. Like I said, 5-2. Basically free. I've screwed up that trick a couple of times, but it's, it's not so bad. Okay. Well, now the fun begins, because we're going to World 8. I mean, if y'all thought World 8 of Super Mario Bros. was fun, <laughs> World 8 of the Lost Levels is wonderful. <laughs> it's just wonderful. Okay. There's a mushroom in these blocks if you need it, but I don't need it right now, so that's good. But you definitely will want it, because there's, there's spots where you'll probably take a hit. Okay, there is more wind here, actually. And... Triple jump again. This can be hard to time if you're small, but I have the Fire Flower, so I feel should kill the thing now. I'm gonna time it here to get this Buzzy Beetle, and there's a Hammer Bro, and they actually come at you this late in the game. They just come straight at you, throwing their hammers and shit. It's... it's bad. This is another, uh, one of those blind Koopa bounces. And on the other side of this actually is a Hammer Bro. Which, you don't know if he's going to stay still or jump, so you just have to chance it at times. Like, he jumped there. Like, if I tried to jump over him, I'd be dead. There's another one there. There's a power-up right under that little staircase. Like, the bottom step of that staircase I was just on, if, if you want it. And there's a one-up down there, too, but I didn't take it. Just because it's a little tricky to jump through the bottom as a big Mario, so you don't, you don't want that. Anyway, eight ones cleared. That's that's a huge relief off my back. But eight two is tricky. <laughs> eight two is it's literally tricky. There's a trick to it. It's free up until that trick. <laughs> but if you're not a fire Mario and you miss that trick, ooh, you're you're in for a bit of hurt. No, it's shockingly short. Okay, the only real trick there is the jump can be kind of hard. Now, what you want to do is you want to bounce off that Koopa and hit the block right above it. But I missed. So now I had to deal with two Hammer Bros, which Fire Mario, you, you can deal with just fine. 
And it's actually fun that I fucked this up because I get to show you the trick. You go down the pipe, a bunch of coins that you can get. I, I just skipped it. And this looks... Yeah, you loot! If you, if you don't hit that block and climb the beanstalk, you just go in an endless loop. You gotta find the way, so... That's that's it. That's right. That's it right there. You gotta bounce off it. Yeah, I did it too early again. That's bad! <laughs> I mean, it's just making me look bad, but... <laughs> I do have plenty of time, so, you know. You know, actually, I have enough coins to get a 1-up, I think, down here. Yeah, de definitely, absolutely. Two more? There we go. That makes up for the life I missed. Excellent. Just, just excellent. Okay. This time. This time. Come on. Come on. Ha! There we go. I mean, you get to climb up to the heavens, up to the clouds. It's a really neat trick. It's not that hard to do, but I mean, I, I screwed it up a couple times, but it's okay. Right, okay. So that was the last bit of smooth sailing. <laughs> I mean, even though I have Fire Mario, <laughs> that's the last bit of really smooth sailing that we got. 8 3 is a bit of a jerk. And it's because of those Lakitu's, and especially because of those Hammer Bros. Ooh, that that was good, though. Did you see that shit? <laughs> so I can shoot with impunity here, but... You could just run straight through and then get up here. There, there's power up there if you need it. I'll just show that off. But here's something really tricky. Uh, Yeah, you'll see I bumped into something there. That's a star! Ooh, do you want a star? No, because then you'd go right through this. Now... That may look like a fuck-up, but that's intentional. And you'll see why that's intentional in a moment. I... I really would have loved to get a no-hit on this, but, you know, you'll, you'll see in half a second. But for now, gonna make some really daring leaps. Ooh. And we're actually on the final castle. And we're tiny. I mean, you, you'll see in just two seconds here what, what I'm talking about. And the reason... It's right here. This jump is really tough to make if you're big, because you can, you've can, you got less leeway. <laughs> Even when you're small, it's kind of a crapshoot. And this late into a run, it's uh, devastating. So I decided to go with the safe route and be small, because if I die, I die. So triple jump. Yeah, there we go. And this is actually kind of maze-like. We want to go down that pipe. And now we're in it section. It's, it's free. Okay, it's free. It's it's basically free. Even though my heart is kind of pounding my chest. It's, it's free. It's free. It's free. There are only two more places that you can really heck up, and this is one of them. There's a power-up, and now we gotta get in that other pipe, which... The triangle jumps downward kind of hard when you're big, but I made that one. I got it. It's fine. It's It's fine. We got bloopers swimming in the air, which, you know, whatever. Okay. It's actually a poison mushroom block right in the middle of it, which is why I waited for that Koopa. And now, you want to stay low because this is actually a maze, so what you gotta do is you gotta run over the gaps and jump and get this just right. Okay. This is kind of tough. You run down this, like, it looks like it's endless, but don't worry, it's, it's fine. Now we count. One... Two, three, and we're gonna go on four. Oh god, okay. Alright. We're all powered up again, and this is the final gut. If I can jump down the pipe, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, kids. Okay. Alright. Is that Bowser? Not quite, but it's, it's a Bowser. That's a Bowser throwing hammers at Jake Garden that way. And this is it. This is, this is it. Pick that buzzy beetle the right way, that's good, and here he is. The man himself. Big Bowser, Big Bowser, yeah, 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 yeah! And that, my friends, is Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels done on one credit. Sit down! Oh, that feels good. It should sound nicer than, uh, in, than this because it would be on the Famicom disc system, but that's okay. So, you get 100,000 points for every life you have left, which 
if you did the infinite life trick and did well at this, you'd get like 10 million billion points. No, not quite that much, but you'd get a really, really high score. It's, whew! That was uh, exhilarating, but fun. So there's all the toads, which I only saved to that top one, really, but more, whatever. <laughs> so there's actually more to the game than just uh, these levels. If you beat it without warping, you get to World 9, which is a special weird world where you're, like, swimming in the air and shit, and there's, like, air enemies, and you only have one life to do it, which is fun. And if you manage to clear the game eight times, you unlock the letter worlds, which are even harder. <laughs> As you see, I've got one star on the title screen there. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any of that, but... That was Super Mario Bros. 2, the last levels. I did it in one life. Wish I could have done it on uh, one hit. With no hits, rather. But uh, I, I had to do that for convenience. So, uh, thanks. Go watch that one credit classics guy. He's cool. And uh, see you next time. Bye, everybody.